What's up, guys? This is A Fitness, and welcome to my my fit. Welcome, welcome to my my fit. My my. Fi welcome to my my fitness pal tutorial video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot this week, but you already know about my three deadlines. I've got an essay due in for Monday, and I'm also going to meet a football club so you can get some work experience over the summer. So I'm pretty hectic at the moment, but I'm still trying to get you my quest for a bigger chest this week, and also this my fitness pal tutorial because I think it'll benefit a lot of you who are bodybuilders out there. So follow along, take notes, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to like and leave a comment in the description below because I really love to read them and I'll see you in a bit. So for those who are thinking of starting diets where you count your macros or a diet like if it fits your macros or flexible dieting you are definitely watching the right video. So here I'm showing you that was the calorie goal 4000 1723 was how many calories I've eaten on the day and I've got 2268 calories remaining and here the layout is you have breakfast lunch dinner and snacks where you can input food but you don't have to stick to that layout you could do whatever you like as long as you get all your food in into any of them and here the top row is how much I've eaten during the day then it's my target uh, in the middle and then how much I've got remaining is at the bottom and then you can also add in your water consumption and also notes at the bottom so here I'm showing you how you input in some food so I pressed breakfast then here I'm going to type in a certain food I'm going to type in banana on this occasion and then you look up banana press search and then you see there are lots of different results so you pick the one that's best for you and then it says 100 grams so I'm going to press 1 gram and then once I weigh out the banana say it's 65 grams and then I'll put in the number 65 but here I believe the banana weighed 75 grams there you go close enough so once you've done that check that it's all okay I will stress that sometimes people input foods wrong because this all this data this database is from people inputting the food so sometimes you should check the nutrition label and not just rely on my fitness pal because sometimes my fitness pal isn't accurate but on the most part it is so here i've inputted it and you can see it says banana just there and now i've moved on to some of the other additional bits of information you can add in so here is like the cardio that you can input so you could put in say walking five minutes and then it'll add it to the amount of calories you need to intake and that you've burnt. Here are my goals. That was my current weight at the top. And then you could see how active I was. You could put in how active you are. And here I'm changing the percentages of macronutrients for the day. So what a very typical one is 50% carbohydrates, 30% protein, 20% fat. But you could just change it up, see what works for you. You might be better on a high protein diet, high fat diet, stuff like that. Here is just showing you the breakdown of macronutrients on a pie chart and also weekly how much, how many of my calories I've been eating and whether I've always been hitting my goals or not. And here is the amount of calories I've eaten but also broken down into the macronutrients and micronutrients. So you saw all the vitamins I've eaten there and also the saturated fat that was broken down and polysaccharides and stuff like that. And here you can add devices and connect it to your MyFitnessPal. And here you could also pick recipes that are going to help you towards your fitness goals and say under 400 calories there. And so this was basically a whistle stop tour of my fitness pal for those who haven't used it before. Please be sure to leave a comment and a like down below and let me know if it was helpful for you. And if you have any other questions, be sure to ask me and don't hesitate. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and again I'd like to apologise for the amount I've uploaded this week and I will improve that in the future once all my deadlines are over because I still have exams but they're more in April May time and I just want to say thank you to you guys who subscribe to my channel and who watch and like my videos because you're getting me that one step closer to eventually being a body power representing somebody like Gymshark or Machine Fitness something like that so thank you so much be sure to like comment share subscribe have a good day guys and I'll see you in the next video and keep making gains